With this video file, I would like to demonstrate how Quota members could use the function of document sharing offered by Google. Document sharing would allow Quota members to view the same document online, insert changes, trace different revisions produced by each of the authors, and as a result, enhance the work of the person who actually is putting the final draft. In order to do all of this, first, please have a look at the picture that you see in front of you. Just above the slot where we put the keywords of our searches, we have words like web, images, news, maps, and so on. The last word says more. Please click on more. Once you click on more, you will see the second screen, and here you should find an icon with a description docs. Please cl click on docs. Once you click on Docs, Google will request from you to log in. Those of you who have a Gmail account, simply write the email account in the appropriate slot and the password. Those of you who do not have a Gmail account will simply have to register. Once you register, Google should take you immediately to the page which you're seeing here. Once in this page, please explore the menu which is in the blue upper bar. However, since you would be trying it out for the first time, I assume, then the first thing that we need to do is actually to have a document to work with, so we will need to upload the document. The upload function is the second command from the left on the top blue bar. Please click on it. Once you click on the upload button, you will see the screen as in here. You can see the browse button click browse and look in your directories for the appropriate file that you would like to upload. Once you find it, click on upload. It's a pretty straightforward procedure. Once you click on the upload button, your file will appear on your screen inside of a text editor. You can see it because in the blue bar you've got two rows of menu. One says you are in the editor, it says edit, and then underneath you, you have a bar with editing commands. I will come back to this, but as a next step that you would want to take is now to invite people to share this document and I will show you how to do it next. Please look to the right of your editor and above you will see a command which says share. Please click on share which is the first blue big button and we will proceed to inviting people to share your document. So, so far we have uploaded the document, we have clicked on it, we have opened it, we look at it in the editor, we look to the right, there's a share button, we click on the share button and once we click on the share button a dialogue dialog box will appear and will give us possibility to invite people to actually edit the document with us. Not necessarily at the same time but at their own convenience. So once the dialog box appears, you will see on the top the first request says invite people and you have a choice as collaborators, which means people who edit the document, or as viewers, which means people whom you prevent from actually editing the document. I gather you will probably always stick for the, fir the first um, circle as collaborators. Now in this white square, you simply type the names of the people that you invite to share the document with you. Please do so and then un click underneath there is a button invite collaborators please click on it. Once you clicked on invite collaborators after you've written the email addresses of the people you would like to work with you on the document another box will appear. It is a email message. In the subject you will see the title of the document that you would like people to share with you it is put automatically by Google. In the body of the message what you might write is to ask people simply to click on the link that Google will put there inside of the email automatically and to go to a place on Google where they actually can view the document and where they can work with the document online. No. However, I will just take you through the editor and some other functions just very briefly. So in the editor, 
you can see all the very familiar icons of any word processor. Please put your cursor on each of them if you're unfamiliar with some of them and there will be a writing that will come underneath your cursor and it will show what each icon actually does. So that's pretty straightforward. I will show you now what happens if you click on insert or revisions. If you click in the upper bar of your menu of the editor on insert you will have a few commands here. You can insert an image, you can select an item and insert a HTML link taking you to a specific website, you can insert a comment. This is a very interesting function where you actually when you click on comment that means you do not have to actually make any changes with changes to the text but you can actually insert a comment about a paragraph or about a word. Um, it will show, it will give you place to type your comment, it will say who's made the comment and it will say on what day and also at what time. This is very useful when actually people will want to trace it back and see whether the comment actually happened before some other event or after some negotiations about the structure of the um, document. Next one is you can insert a table, bookmark is probably less useful, separate a page break, special characters, any French or other characters in your text. Very nice um, editor. Once you click on revisions you will see the entire history of the editing of the document in question. It will show you how many times, how many revisions there were, by whom, how long ago, when. So it's a very nice uh, way of being able to trace and track what happened to the document ever since it was uploaded. So a per the person who is actually looking at all these different revisions trying to put together the final draft of the document can actually work separately with each of the revisions, look what each author suggested and then insert or not insert these particular um, comments or changes into the final draft. Each author, once they finish editing the document, please look into the right side of the editor and you will see there a um, function which says which say says save or save and close the file. If you saved, your file is saved only. If you save and close, the file will be closed and your work is done for the day.